A VPN, short for Virtual Private Network, is a cybersecurity tool for privacy and security. NordVPN ensures that you can browse safely and privately in just a few clicks. Yes, I'm back in the morning! Hey! Hey, Paula, you need to apologize to the sound guy. He just went for shite and kept his mic on. Yeah, dirty bastard. Did you? I just haven't done it enough. We've been battling darts out earlier, haven't we? Oh, yeah, my stain is. I didn't even realise that. that. Fat, no, we, we just realised that all last year doing the documentary. We must have been doing shites in that toilet every, every week <laughs> with the mic still on. The camera guys were outside. <laughs> we've just been playing darts. We've busted your drums, haven't we? The two boys have busted your drums. We've been playing darts non stop, big man, haven't we? Stain is good. Do you know Alan Forrest nearly had a nine dart at the hearts? Did he? Didn't he, mate? Is he I can't believe he's told you that. I did, he said. He hit two consecutive 180s, aye. And then, I think he hit single 20 after. You should have got some school. You said that him and Jam Stanley Jamesy good, Stands were both naked. and no, I was they both naked. <laughs> so he's a seven seed, you said, Andy? I was about, aye, six or seven seed. The, st the standard's a joke. He looks like that weed ass player, didn't he, Alan Forrest? He's got the face like that ass player. Aye, he's like uh, we Johnny Clayton, isn't he? <laughs> we Johnny Alan Clayton. Clayton. What a player. By the way, other sports, cycling. Brilliant. I seen you, you get your up there. Nah, have you, have you, you were seen holding his helmet, what was that? Me, 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 my dad, me, somebody will get up. Is it true that your dad puts his seat up like that? Here we go. You'll <laughs> <laughs> only cycle uphill as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, have you seen the bike you can sit to, you can sit on it? Have you seen that? Me, my dad, on that one. Yeah, my dad fought me. Remember, I told you a few months ago, Shy? Yes. He was in the pub and something up to him, like, congrats on the threesome of your boy. No. <laughs> yeah, because you see it on the podcast. <laughs> Somebody just said to my dad, I'm going mental. You know, he said, What's this about me and you having a threesome? I was like, What's this about me and you having a threesome? That's what the boy said to him in the, in the pub. So. <laughs> How annoying is this cycling now? But I'll get traffic. You man. gave it a go last week, I know, and you've had a wee pop in it there. But you like Kings like this for Glasgow, don't you? Amazing don't for this. No, yeah, I'm good for Pure quiet, there's nobody, it's a ghost town, I don't know where, what's happening. It's a ghost town, yeah. Right? You know, recently, say, si, I don't know if it's with <clears throat> all the students coming after the world, I don't know if they're new bed back came and it's left empty. The, the, the amount of pigeons and seagulls in your city, mental. No, I agree, I fucking but hate birds. Where, 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 that's no normal, that. Uh, I, I went to... used to be scared there, mate, and the, when you walked down, they just... Oh, no Glasgow pigeons. Fucking square go here, uh, mate. The seagulls are the worst, mate. The birds, uh, the seagulls. Seagulls only by the sea anymore. I went to North Berwick, couldn't find a seagull, came to fuck, woke up this morning in front of ten in the front, <laughs> back there. You know what I mean? What's all that about? There's rats at my back. Look at those rats. Rats at my, uh, outside your back. Mate, that would terrify have me. You ever had, have you actually ever had a mouse in your house? Aye, yeah, we've, we've got, we've got one. Lynn was doing some work last week <laughs> doing the stair, right? And she was, uh, there was mouse droppings all the other doing stair toilet. And she went, you need to patch that hole up. And I went, eh. Uh, patch so, what hole up? I don't know. <laughs> it's quite, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> so there's a wee mouse on about the about the ash. You need some sight, you need some amount of patch <laughs> for like Pure Lynn man. <laughs> I, I, I said I would be sitting bad. I was I was sitting watching the telly once in the living room, but it was about half eleven at night and a mouse just ran right across the carpet. Have no. no any bones in the back? No, no, no they, they can fit right under a wee tiny they, bit. Mate, they can fit through the back end of a pencil, I'm sure it is. <laughs> 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 is it a pencil? Maybe I could fill a hole, a wee mouse. <laughs> Yo, your ass would eat a, a mouse right up, mate. Wouldn't it? Swallow it whole. Oh, I talking away, so big congratulations to Mrs. Halliday. Did you see it? And Selfridge is her clothing oh, label. Oh, Abby Nick. Abby Nick. Abby Nick, sorry. Huh? Oh, no, uh, are, you involved, you, are you involved in it, mate? No, no, no. She yeah, a hold of fashion, mate. What was it? Her biggest sword? There was 20 leather skirts to come below. <laughs> <laughs> I knew something was going on. 20. So what, the lead is in, uh, 20. Lead is in self with his eyes. Should there be a pop-up shop in there? He's poised in there, Should there be a pop-up shop in there? He's one of the skills. He's poised in there, Scott. Jelly's trying to own him in there. He's some size of boy now, mate. Oh, my God. What was the size of his son, mate? Yeah, no. He's big on Kev. 6'6". Six, six. Well, could you, do you think he could punch fuck at you, Kev? Eh? No, he thinks he can. See, you know that way uh, Barry Hearn said when Eddie uh, Hearn turned 16, he let him batter his... I had a fight. What is that all about? I know. Do you think that's normal? <clears throat> dad said right. punch fuck at me. My now. favourite my favourite part was Eddie Hearn saying, I had an ultimate. My dad went, fucking yes, son. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot my hand, he was pure proud, eh? Good one, Eddie. He talks shit, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn, what about Eddie Hearn and Silent Jordan? Mate, bro, I, I, I tell you what, Eddie Hearn done him. I tell you what, Eddie Hearn did them. A million percent. Did he? Had oh, them twisted. Oh, that's, that's, nice, that's the first person I've ever seen that's I, actually, I think, has got up one of them. Simon Jordan saying about inherited your dad's company. And Simon Jordan told a lie, I know, saying that the guy for the British Boxing Board of Control texted him that he. He got the news of the drug test on Friday 
And he's like, no, we never. We go on Saturday. And he's like, we'll take it up with him then because he did say that. And then he found out they never no, said but Eddie that. So he just lied. Like, Andy, lied. Eddie Helm went live on, on, the, on the radio. went like, right, phone him then. Aye, uh, phone him. Did See he? the guy who said that? And the Jordan Shiter, or did he phone him? They phoned him the guy who said it was Saturday. Aye, right, he said that it was Saturday. Wow. He may have terrorised him, didn't he? Can't believe what Simon studies. Jordan says now. But he, he, he got heavy flustered, Simon Jordan, didn't he? He was getting uh, raging. Oh, he's all out of place. Yeah, he was good, Tony. Yeah, See, to be fair, I like Eddie Helm, I think he's funny. I don't know about him. Speaking about, have you heard them do Chris Eubanks? Oh, it's incre <laughs> incredible, mate. It's incredible. Uh, Wad, how's, how's the football going? The Boca? Brilliant. Great camp camp. you had. Oh, it was amazing. The camp was sort of unbelievable. Your boys came down. Uh -huh. What? Unbelievable, mate. I seen them a couple of years ago, last I seen them. They were honking. No, they were good wee players, but now they're fucking brilliant. Left fit, right fit. Aye, Technicals, just brilliant. Massively, aye. He's a way fucking Dorrit. Big news, uh, isn't it? Big news. That's why like, I suppose he's improved. What I'm we can do it. Yeah, that's Kev. Hey, big news. Massive. I'm, I'm, I'm a. Uh, good mate. I've always said. It's fast and got me so much more. Lost Jude last week. Try to get him to to stay on, but he's he's lost due to. Uh, Parent commitments. Nah, so Steph's got a new job and I'm working at nice now. So it's hard, I know, I understand that. There's a lot of kids in the same boat, but after Saturday's festival, which was successful by the way, really successful, I want the wee man back. Mm. Aye, mate. Then we're going to need to dip back at the transfer market, aye. What, 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 what shape are you playing this year? <clears throat> Shapeless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're bad and sad. Oh, he's bad, mate. Too many boys getting upset. Uh -huh. Aye, it's just strange. Actually, guy, after the tournament, right, we had 16 teams there. I mean, got all the parents trying to hand out their particip participation medals and stuff. And you hate that, didn't you? Aye. And I said, uh, I said to them, look, guys, see the day I see a lot of you kids crying because you lost a game of football. And you all want to be football players. They need to do that route then because you're going to hear more lows in football than you ever will have highs. Yeah. It's life lessons, aren't it? Parents started clapping as if they say, oh, fair, because they're probably sick of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, we're trying to build characters. But do you think it's the fact that you've got the leather skirt on the side? <laughs> I don't think that's appropriate for that age. <laughs> Listen, Sally, you know in this modern world you've got to fit in. <laughs> and Boca, you put a team in the league? Got to be the first team ever in Boca history. Younger, younger team. What age groups, isn't he? Um, <clears throat> so dad's a goalie, isn't it? Eh? Is it an over 35s you've done your dad's a goalie? <laughs> no, it's, it's a Tom young boy. Young boy, can't do it. Seventeens. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> you coaching your dad's boy <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't want to touch my dad. No, that's rubbish. Anyway, no, we're going to do a wee team, side. We're going to do a wee team. Um, just mix, changing it up a wee bit. It's been amazing for the, the, the years we've done it, but I think it's just time now to go proper. Still have your community side there, but have an actual club there. Um, you made it, your money for that, didn't you? No, I mean, we've done four weeks of camps oh, no. and no a penny. Mate, what, what, a 31 year old, what type of brain is that? Well, see, the worst yeah, thing about that is, no, but you're same. a community guy, innit? You're not right, charging, yeah. overcharging, that's brilliant. He lost money last year and he's obviously not learned for it, he's no spending again this but year. But you've made loads of money for a while, didn't you? So it makes, ah, it makes, makes up for a bit of a groggle there. <laughs> oh, wild I want to ask you, are you missing the coaching or? Aye. Do you, mate? I am. Um, I was, I was actually saying that at the weekend there, because that was the first game, that was the first league game back in the 20s development league. And I was like, no, oh, there's right. a snap up. Love it if I was taking the boys on Friday, but. Get back into it, don't I? Uh -huh. You should well, win league already, yeah? No, fuck. So long, way to, go, long, long way to go, mate. Hold on, conclusion. Listen, no, forget it. Still a long way to go, mate. Watch the results every week. I know it. teams will improve, but he's got bright looks strong. Well, he's excellent Saturday. Playing good stuff, mate. Uh, right. Playing really good stuff. Boys are really tuned in to what we're asking, so... <clears> things are looking good. Right. Flying, mate. Enjoying it, mate. I'm really, I'm enjoying good. it. Do you know what else I'm enjoying? NordVPN sponsored. Oh, See them on the Coopman Show, off to a flyer, isn't there? Tell you what, see if it wasn't for NordVPN. Tell you what, I've been I've been trouble. Had you use it a lot? I Kate? use it a lot. I. What do you use it for? I use it for uh, some of the channels I go on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are the channels keeps, that you subscribe keeps, to? Keeps, it keeps me protected. Well, Andy, you were in Norway last week with Hearts. You miss any of your favourite shows? I did. I. <laughs> well, if you get NordVPN to your plan plus four months free when you go to NordVPN.com forward slash Open Go VPN, that'll never be an issue again. But what can you get with NordVPN? Stay at home virtually, say. And I love that, don't you? You, you like the virtual stuff, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I do. Why do you like that? <laughs> it's something new. It's something new. <laughs> and what's your favourite content that you usually can't get abroad? All you need to do is just change the location on the NordVPN app. NordVPN can also make you safer online with a single click and protect you from malware with threat protection. If you've been clicking on dodgy links, like Slaney's famous for. I know, so that's good for and you. And then they sort all that out for you, so... Definitely get on board with it. Are you all going to get it? I've got it. Have you got it? it? Oh, good. No, but see if you're actually travelling to Europe, yeah, you need one. Uh -huh. Especially if you're there for a, we're there for a Thursday and there's football on the Wednesday night. 
Because you can't get it either. And if no. you do, it's a speed. Yeah. Norwegian it's commentary. a speed for me, Sam. Super quick. And it's super uh, quick. And how annoyed you get usually when it's not working. And my God, this sorts it right. Yeah. So this is the fastest VPN on the planet. <laughs> on the planet, mate. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. Click the link nordvpn.com forward slash open goal VPN, which you can find in the description box below. Super. Right, boys, we're at the football. Celtic yesterday. Who watched it? Hands up. Have you watched it? Actually, put your hands up. <laughs> Crying game, by the way. Was it? Brilliant game. Of football. Was NTN game. watched it as well. Huh? NTN game of football. Um, I think Celtic are still and not as fluid as they were last year. No, and, and as much as Rodgers and Andrews are two really attacking managers, it's a total, it's a total different style in it. Like, I mean, Taylor, now, he's now back to being that sort of fullback. Yeah. I think you Keogh, does he want him to join in and play a lot? Yeah, Which yeah. he was always staying away. Um, I mean, I, I think v Ross County with, with, with the Bill and O'Reilly, you can play them in there. Um, but I don't know I when mean, you go. Tati needs to be in that. I team, think so. Size out. What a difference even when he comes I on the pitch so. now. It just brings us. Aye, but, but, but why is it? What do you think the thinking is behind him not playing? Is there, is there talk him leaving it or is it, it, it I seen that I, I, I didn't see any of the games but a few of my mates were saying in pre-season he wasn't needed but can you judge much in pre-season? No Rogers did say didn't he he said that uh, he we only <coughs> knows what he needs to do to get in my team which I, I wouldn't mind knowing where it is because Well see against Bilbao he wasn't a great first half he scored the goal but he, he gave the ball away well, didn't he? Yeah he gave the ball away quite a bit but I, I still think he's Celtic's best player I yeah, yeah. Ah he's right up there definitely but I agree with saying I thought it was some game I thought it was very yeah. enjoyable to watch. Brilliant advert. I think both teams though I think Aberdeen will, will probably say the same after two games and Rangers and Hearts and, and Tibbs so the five teams that are in Europe will all probably say they'll not actually hit the, yeah. where they expect them to be yeah. but it's just that, what, everyone complains about this cup but I do say it's still competitive football so you still as a player right. got four, five, six games under your belt before the league campaign starts mm. so <clears> I, I don't think they're quite at their best yet I don't know what I keep bringing the big man up but I prefer Dan just Tyler play I hate to see it oh I do see when you're playing it for the back and the full back staying there I think it's so much easier to press them when they come inside well, the pitch I think, it's, I think it's the opposite I think it's out of possession I, I, because I used to always think we see with Angie's players where it's the inverted full back and obviously they already boys in midfield I thought any time they lose the ball they still so look so secure head. in the middle of the pitch and then it just allows them to sustain attacks after attacks and I thought see any time Celtic attack and it broke down I thought Aberdeen had chances on the counter attack straight away. I just mm, don't think right. there was as many bodies in the middle, whether it was McGregor and O'Reilly. If one of them broke into the box, it was only really McGregor, and I thought there was a, a bit of space there. But I think that's something that will come with for time because that's something that the players for last year are. Again, I would think Atati, I, a lot of Atati, because when they lose it, he's so quick to get it back. Right. I don't think O'Reilly and Turnbull <coughs> react as quick to losing is, the ball. Is McGregor, is, is he, is it no change? Because he, Angie was the sitter all the time and he got, is, is he now bombing on as well? He's playing in a two, isn't he? It's a bit like if, if he goes O'Reilly sitting, sits, 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 uh, O'Reilly is the one more, more just often. Just a wee bit sloppy, isn't it? They're just a bit. Yeah, can you bobby a lot? Can you bobby a lot? Alex Ferguson is a bit scratchy. Pass is very, very scratchy, and I think that's a big part of. You're giving teams an opportunity then to be at that because Aberdeen with Duke and we obviously got front of you oh, yeah. the goal they scored. Duke, how good was Duke? Oh, oh, no, no, was player, that yeah. was movement there, with, like, obviously because Carter Vickers, nobody gets round, no gets round, but gets by Carter Vickers with movement like that. But it was a wee bit of movement coming short to go long, ball in, good ball. He Carter Vickers good. caught the wrong side of him, caught back with Oski goal. So good teams with good players up front will hurt Celtic because they're going to be sloppy. But no, I thought I don't know. It's like you've got to, the way I would look at it is going to be to Aberdeen second game of the season. No playing as fluid as what you'd like to be, but you've picked up three, three points. Three a good that's point. That's a great point. Do you think it's three points? From Aberdeen's point of view at half time, Vickers goes off. Your right back is already injured. Ralston's playing. Welsh comes on. Is that a missed opportunity though for Aberdeen? Potentially, but then Welsh is coming on with a point to prove because the new managers come in. Um, I'm pretty sure Welsh would have been there or thereabouts the last time Rogers about as a younger, a young yeah, kid. Yeah. So he's coming in there thinking, well, if Carter Vickers got injured, we've sold Starfelt. Who who else can we really bring in there? Could be Ashy. No, they're signing the Swedish boy. The Swedish Lager, oh, are they? Right. <coughs> yeah, so might be a player. while there's an opportunity there, Welsh is so he probably put in a decent enough performance to say because Brendan Rogers came in and said, no, I want this kid part of the the squad afterwards. So. Me, Denise Welsh, done all right, didn't he? When he I came read on. Denise Welsh, yeah. Right. He, actually, he actually does look like Denise Welsh as well, doesn't he? <laughs> You're always <laughs> up against it, but I do feel I do feel your best chance to beat the old firm is the start of the season. Yeah. yeah. So I think Aberdeen probably going into that game will think we need to try and take something from it. But then, like Kev said, for Celtic, you're going to the most, one of the most difficult away venues at the start of the season. New players, no quite hit the heights of the way you can, and still came away with three points. So Tell you what, I like the boy home. Mate, he looks very, very tidy. Did the pitch they put up? No, what was it? Put a picture on Cotton Aberdeen player. 
A bitch. Aye. Oh, I did see that. I did see it. I did. I did, I did, I did, I did see that actually. So it's like sit down, sit down, <laughs> bitch. Sit down, aye, bitch. And then be humble after it. Well, aye, aye, that's right. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> I did see but that. He's a player. I know when it set the goal up very good. Very lively, and all. He, he, he's like. He's like a, he's a glider, isn't he? When he yeah, turns away, yeah, turns and like runs, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead oh. smooth. But it surprised me how quickly he was going to get the ball back as well. Aye. I thought he'd be one of them that maybe the would... But Yang, I thought, looked good when Yang, he came Yang, on as yeah. well, sharp. Are you surprised Celtic having there before the start of the season had more transfers in? Ah, but, but, but Andrew, it was done so early, wasn't it? Aye. I, I still expect a, a couple more. But especially with... A couple, with, uh, couple see, more. See, where's he? <laughs> where's he <laughs> went? <laughs> <laughs> what a life for me, I just kicking a Full year deal, mate. Uh -huh. But you mean Jota goes 25 million and... So what areas do you think? I think the new centre back is decent. Aye. You know, if you're not going to play Forrest, I'd maybe get a right winger in. I'm not... His, his numbers are unreal, so anybody throws that at me, they'll always prove me right. A bad that I'm still unsure on. Mm. I don't know, that's harsh. Decision it. making? Aye. And I don't know, can he beat, can he beat, real, legit beat a player? I thought you said Craig Beatty. <laughs> <laughs> what that, mate? I thought you said Craig Beatty. Is that, is that <laughs> Craig Beatty back? Is that a concern? Because obviously Champions League is, is no far around the corner. Well, you play like that in the Champions League, uh, you're getting you get bashed. So, so ideally, we're talking about bringing players in. You're wanting these players in now so you can get them up to speed. You can get them playing part of the, the system and the, the way you want to play. If he's going to bring them in the next couple of weeks before the window closes, what, what does that give time-wise in terms of Champions League I don't think it's by the way I don't understand we get players because some of my, the squad's fucking massive, massive isn't it? squad's big eye I know we saw Sorrow that's still kicking about isn't it no way oh is he away oh. it's Sorrow away I think he's still be there can he be <laughs> still kicking about can he be he's still in my mind is he still there <laughs> no way I, 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 I heard there's some size of squad mate I heard something in the summer and, and I hated it about Roy, and it's no, I'm not trying to compare him, but somebody said Rogers develops players much more than Ange because he's an on the, on, on the pitch coach, whereas Ange isn't it? Ange did, look at Ralston. No, oh, fuck. Greg Taylor. Greg Taylor's the one. What a lot of rubbish that is. Just because Ange wasn't the one, like, wasn't the one delivering the training. Uh -huh. But you can't see Rogers d uh, develops players more than him. Again, I watched the second half of Spurs, mate. And I I nah, thought they were brilliant, mate. Spurs? Uh huh. Second time. I mean, they look at their squad and they still need a lot of work. Uh -huh. he's got, he needs time with the big man. Yeah, he? definitely. Uh -huh. But I know, I know, mate, and O'Reilly, I know, he's been piping up a lot, isn't he? <laughs> mate, no, he's, he's, I don't like all that. Even the, the Bill scored two last week, it's man, I think man of the match, know. and he's trying to say to the Bill, you're only happy it? last week. The reports about who, well, who do you think you should have been playing ahead of? I know. Mm. You're a tatty. I don't like, listen, if, why not, see, do you when they should have said that, see, last year, when done an interview last year when Andrew was there, he should have come out and said it then. But now we've done with Rogers, so stop going on about it. Okay, mate. Do you think he watches it? Who this? Oh. Oh, really? no, no, I don't do you think so? No, no, no. <laughs> do you think so? It's no, no he's, a, he's a clever guy, isn't it? <laughs> aye, you're buzzing, he's no watched it. Uh, Aberdeen, they'll, I think they'll sign a couple as well, don't they? Aye, I think there's talking skills going back there. I think they've got, they've, uh, there's a report they've got a left back coming in for Australia. Right. Uh, I think like it's basically agreed, so. Oh, well. But they do look. Very good, good Aberdeen. Exactly. They look good. Aberdeen will be. I, I think play with an intensity, didn't yeah, under Barry Robson. Yeah, I I'd thought. expect them to make a couple of scenes at the back because I don't think that they don't look as good defensively as they going forward. But yeah. going forward, man, some of the players they've got is really good at this level. The old skates are your handful as well, aren't they? Aye. 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 He plays on the shoulder well, doesn't he? He's always looked to go in behind him. You've got somebody like Duke's pace. Cause that, the one, uh, I think it was one each at the time where Duke, I think he does something on the outside and he's running at the back four. And he's got quick for his for his ability. He's got like an easy slip pass. Yeah. Me obviously run behind. He overhits it to heart. Yeah, yeah. It was that's Denise, a right off. Denise, 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 Aye, but you know what? How clever fake you are. I don't know, but it's clever, clever as a lazy wee bastard, but yeah. to stand in that position, he's about 50 it's cheating, yards man. off. It's cheating, you can't keep doing it. But it's genius, <laughs> mate, isn't it? No, it is. Do you know mate, what? I've, I said it last year, it's a 100% design. Because you can't... I think so, he knows what he's doing. You can't score 15 goals over the last Aye. year doing it, and it's yeah. no... It's, it's, it's like the wee no, guy in the playground, and it just stands next to the me. fucking goals. Thing thing, you right? can't and, eat, and I've played in the back line against Celtic where they did, and it's so hard to defend against. Because see if you, obviously, if you drop, you're then you're miles away from yeah. your midfielders for them to play. If you squeeze, yeah. it just takes one boy at the top for something to nine to cut it back to the box. So like you said to each other on the pitch, like, what are doing? Aye. No, <laughs> you're not saying what are doing, but it's like, you're trying to dive a line, but it's like you said, it just takes one ball over the top for somebody as quick as a bad arm, my aid, to run on you. And you just fucking stone yourself. I was always a heavy wee boy at school that had done it, but when I. <laughs> 
Uh, it was never like he Hugo who was rapping. I know. Uh, <laughs> it was Frank Kent. It's still with his school bag on. And then we celebrating. Yeah, it was school bag. Yeah, it was school bag. School with the bag on, kicking the ball. We that he does over thirty five, Steve. We <laughs> Hugo in school just done it a post every day, man. <laughs> Class. Uh, Rangers, who watched that? Hands up again. I want to see hands. I want to see no. hands in the air. I was busy Saturday. What were you doing? I've seen it, aye. Festival. 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 <laughs> I know, what right? were you thinking? I had a festival. Oh, so you are. Do you not record uh, it on your Rangers no, TV? I watched it on the, no, I watched it on the highlights on the, was it last night I watched the highlights? Or Saturday night? I can't remember. I watched the highlights, but good that the four new boys got all that. I've got doubts, by the way. Yeah, I said that on the equipment show as well. Aye, I do it. No, they're the miles off at Rangers. The new signing looks the best for me. But the the midfield players. There's nine. <laughs> It's the, the latest one. Uh, the point is, I looked, he was, he looked decent at the weekend, I. Dessers uh, is Andy. struggling. Mm. I think he's struggling the, the first couple of games, but I do think he was said a couple of weeks ago that he's a bit off the rest of the team in terms of fitness, like. fitness wise, so uh, still got a, a bit to go. Um, I thought they were better, to be fair. I thought first half was just very, very comfortable. Levy couldn't get the box. Uh, I still don't think Rangers created many, like, Clear cut but, chances. I think Lammers has a great chance to make it too. Obviously, the goal disallowed with with Sifuentes, but then Livy were good. The first sort of twenty minutes, they obviously take. Did they have a threat going forward as well, Livy? Now in the first twenty minutes of the second yeah. half, they took off one and of the midfielders, Gary, and they put they put Guffrey up front. They went two up front because I thought in the first half, any time Livy went direct, not one Livy player ran in behind. Mm. So nobody, see, even if nobody, nobody wins it, like, right, there's, no, there's no way they can get up the pitch. Yeah. But then they put the two up more direct. Had a couple of chances. Butler made a couple of good saves. Butler looks good. I said that in the coming Coming out well. for crosses, bought his feet, uh, bought, uh, with the bought his feet, a couple of comfortable saves. He's looked really good. But then I did say when when Livy had that period, you just felt Rangers were going to score at any time. Because see any type of composure on the counter attack, Livy was so wide open. And then uh, tell you what, credit where credit's due because he, he takes a lot of stick. Ravi Matondo was very good. Yeah, somebody said that in the bus right. after your game. Matondo's going to be really good, right? Where did he come on wide? He came on wide and, played and he played with a bit more width, but see, because it was more open, the, the amount of times Rangers had in the counter attack, well, with his pace, he's just mm. driving it back. But that's home, something they, they need. You, uh, they need. Uh, I can't on believe that, on, he's on, done that. On Matondo, like, you've summed it up there. He's come on in a game when Rangers are ahead in the game and it's a bit more comfortable, there's more space. Ravi Matondo starts that game and it's tight and compact. What, what type of Ravi Matondo do we see? No, there? no, I'm, I'm with you, aye. And it's, that, that's probably been his. His, his story of his Rangers season, eh, no Rangers, his Rangers career, when it's mattered, he's not really turned up. But when your team's winning two 0 and you come on and their pitch is open and there's a lot, a lot of ball, he looks amazing. But I don't know. I, I think Rangers need. I don't know what it is. I like the intensity. I can't well for the first goal. Can't well was good. Can't well was good. Aye. And and I think the rest need to feed off that. Mm. I think the first goal is like like you said, like exactly what Rangers look for. But. Aye. It, it, it almost, I feel as if it needs, see, because they do play like all close to each other, it's quick combinations. It needs like a brilliant beat, pick nah, piece of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And the first yeah. goal is brilliant. The first goal is inside the not, dummy, one, two. It's not, the, it's not the fact of the dummy, it's the touch when it came, comes back to take it away for the living Aye. defender to then get the cross in and obviously finish from, um, was it Sim? Lammers. Lammers come in, aye. Lammers come in, good finish, but it's just that explosion of something that got them a goal, whereas sometimes I think it's too pedestrian and it's like, oh, right, okay. See you as a winger, how do you find the shape? Don't would you like, like it to at all. It? Don't like it. I think it's all right. Starting wide and then maybe coming in. Coming in or sometimes it, 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 how the game's gone, you can maybe go in there and overlap it, but it just seems like it's so obvious that's odd or dang. We come on like in, in the first five minutes, they've done it and they just continue doing that. Everybody comes in, they're hitting it to the, to the field back and Tavernier Bass is, is just floating a big lobber right into the box. And it was just so, it was just so obvious what they're trying to do. And I don't, I don't, that's the worry for Rangers because see, see in games where teams are going to play like that against them sitting in, who can they bring on to change it? They've not got somebody that can dribble by yep. players or, I, I, I think that he, until, the, I, I don't know if they've got money anymore, but I think they've got to need to go and, oh, he doesn't really like that. Bill obviously, Bill obviously sees a system in his head and he's obviously planned it in the training ground how he wants to see it. Maybe there's no space Rangers fans and us as um, pundits, whatever the fuck you call no, us. I don't call us that, mate. No, we, we've maybe not just seen it yet in full flow. So maybe when it's in full flow, it's like, oh, right, okay, this now we see, but I can't. I can't. Can, can you recognise what he's trying to do? Oh, 100%. I can see what he's trying to do. He's previously here. He played with the narrow front three, obviously, against Levy, which was three centre halves, and you could see he wanted the, fr he wanted the front three to play up against Levy's centre halves. 
and then obviously Barisic and Tab to provide the width. But I thought Le- what Levy did day well is they jumped on any sort of narrow part. Anytime they just try to break a line, Levy's defenders jumped on it. To be yeah. fair, they they pressed aggressively and just allowed it to go out wide. So that that's when it that's then when I think anytime they try to put it in a pocket, you need like a quick one two a spin. Yeah. You need something. You need very good football. Levy yeah. only giving you something for free. Yeah. You're not getting turned and then right, you're driving yeah. at a back three. It's like. It takes something pretty special to score a goal, which for me happened in the first. But like we're saying with Celtic and Hearts and Hibs and, and, and Aberdeen, they aren't at their, their top level yet. No. But I, I've never, I never worry about Rangers in games that are open. So the last 20 minutes against Livy Servet, it is when teams are 11 men behind the ball to come on yep. game. They're compact, they're tight, mm. they're flooding the middle of the pitch. That's where I think yeah. you need width, you need right. to stretch the game, you need somebody to run in behind. It needs to be like 100%. a bit more, but obviously still early nine new signings so you can time will come was that was that how you played under Gerard? aye aye with a narrow front three yeah. and, and uh, the midfield three sort of just sliding couple supporting and then the width being more so for the yeah. for the full backs but I do think like you actually look at our league this year and last year eight seven eight of the teams play three at the back five at the back Yeah. so it's like there's no light of, no, no. when it was that time in Europe or where, when it was used really well every team's playing four at the back right. so you've got the front three and around two centre halves oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that forces the full backs to narrow up which then gives the width to yeah, the sort yeah, of yeah, guys yeah, that yeah. Do you know who's cracking? Shooter oh, Shooter's been, been great See the driving I thought he was man of the match again Brilliant Yeah 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 that's, um, that's so good that it oh. like can step in like John Stones who's Committing probably the best people. Rud- Rud- Rudiger's quite good at that is he? <laughs> 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 she only survived game He's done well Rudiger right? Right, I'm a dud <laughs> <laughs> hey, what a bad so, so a man of the match. Ah, so he's a good footballer. I thought he was a man of the match. Oh, uh, he's he's good as well. Driving in, but uh, I think they just might have missed a trick in that game. What was Servet? Servet, they, they have a lot of players out. Um, doing to ten men. No, I don't know if they, is, does anybody know if they've got players, players back, mate. The They're captain was so suspended. The striker was suspended. They had a cut out. And it's no, it's that stuff. He's not cracking me. He's no hair. Is he good? Had it done again? No, he just shaved it. Did he? Don't know what he's thinking, mate. He said was, I thought he said was. Hey, was fair day first day. Good. James Martindale, mate. I thought it was David Martindale. He was in the couch last week. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you watch the Savet game though? I watched it. Aye. Would you? Think? What a start. Aye, uh, great start. Great start. But then after that, again ran out of ideas. And I seen a lot of the crowd. I mean, the crowd were going nuts when Rangers passing it back. You made a brilliant point on the Cooper show, which Fadi, by the way, got it rang. Right. With the fullbacks. No full, because the fans are on moaning saying you're not going forward, but. As a full back, as you know, you're first when you open up. Faddy's saying if you open, go in there. That's Ryan, Faddy. As you don't do that as a player. When you open, <laughs> if I've not got my winger there, Sai, then I can turn out and then I go back. Your first touch would take you there because there's a player that's has got 100%. 100%. And, and that's where the, the, the fans were I feel on for the, the full backs at times when they get the ball in the kind of middle areas of the pitch and they've not got no, a forward pass I, on. Because if you drive, even if they, even if they drive on, just sort of running into. Not, I. Trouble? Aye. I just need to there for you to be so And they get out quick! <laughs> <laughs> I think it is! For sake! Great start, but they, they, they should have had that when they, they should have that game like three, four, five, so that when you go over there, there's no doubt. Lammers is a sitter away if he tie over for me. Yeah. If he scores that, you're three 0 after game, half an hour. Rangers game will over. still win the game over there, but it puts a bit of so? puts a bit of doubt in. Yeah, eh? They're dangerous. I, 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 I think so. so. I, I think so. Servette showed absolutely nothing uh-huh. in the game to be mm. honest. And I'm not mm. saying that's what they are because they, beat, areas, they beat Genk, so they've got to be better than that. Right. But for as much as I agree, I thought Rangers second half on the great. Servette showed absolutely nothing in the full game. They get a goal and nobody even appealed for a penalty. Nobody seen it. It was a penalty, obviously watching it back, but. For me, Rangers should have murdered. But even them. even on that, they get through this one, I think, comfortably. But the next tie, PSV or oh, yeah, that's a that is a tough they're, they're one. Gonna, they're they're going to they're going to have to get themselves moving a lot quicker. That PSV manager's good. That was him at Spurs. Wanted to do that. He's finished three sacked. A high away. Because that that's going to be a difficult tie if they get to PSV. Because I know they beat PSV last year in the Europa League. Aye. That's right. I saw two each and one 0 But. Aye. Uh, over there was a, was a hanging in no a hanging that, in I would say that was a, that, I, I would say that was a better Rangers team potentially that time then, than it is now because now they're, they're nowhere near I think well what it team. is is definitely a better PSV team aye, aye. aye. So, so put your arse on the, but you're a big hairy arse on the line you think Rangers will do it nope well you think they'll get beat well, uh, no, you think they'll get no I don't think they'll, I don't think they'll get to Champions League right. I think they lose they beat Servette but they lose to no let's just keep to Servette just now aye they beat Servette yeah they beat Servette aye uh, as, as we stupid heads he, he, he's, he's, he's going to be Rangers because I want a strong Rangers this year right I do I want a strong league I want a strong 
I was in Europe, I wanted us to be strong. You're a strong man. Um, I think but, I think they'll struggle. No, what you saying, I'm asking you to put your arse on the line here. Do they go through? Just say it. No, I'm, I'm trying to think what just, I just totally say, decide. Just begin. It's only got two letters in it. How do you I, see I, it going? I, see, I think when when it's when the game's stretched and it's more open, I think that's where Rangers are, are at their best. So if Vettel not so Vettel not play the way they played in the first leg, no. sitting in and trying to hurt the counter. See that, Andy. It's, but does Rangers still suit that to sort of a team does come out to sort of turn them or or wide players to run in behind? Does it, a players a lot of them come to feet? Do you know I, what I mean though? So like I just think with that narrow front three when the game is more open, spaces yeah, to get in. I think you've got more space. Do Servet come out to Rangers early, try and I get the so. goal, and then sit back in and see if they can take it somewhere? Sure they look, they, or they do don't. they do they sit in and frustrate Rangers and try and maybe catch them? I don't know. There, there's options there, but how did they play against Genk? They didn't see that. Well, actually, I was getting you know, get the highlights. You yeah. <laughs> know about that subscription, mate. Right no. I watched the highlights. They had a few chances. I can't even understand the they're Dutch different. or the Belgium, whatever the league then. Is he going to tell us if they're going to go through or not? Come on, Paul, don't sit the fence. I'll go with I'll go with I'll go with Are you? Yeah. I'll go with Servet. Nice just chance. be the and just be the the start Rangers have made so far. I, I I've got doubts about Bill. Right, I've got doubts about him. I think some Rangers fans they don't ever be. Uh, I, I would. I would. I would. I would. I think Big Boy is so harsh. No, man. Andy, come on. I think Big Boy is so harsh. He's got a few doubts, hasn't he? I and 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 actually about the what Boy just said about Bill's under pressure. Of course, yeah. He's been in since November. He's lost twice to Celtic and, and two cups. No, if you didn't want that, but don't take the job last year then. Because you, you took the job, but you knew the team, you knew the squad of players, and we've gave you that time last year, we gave you, we said it's not your squad of players, no, I know he's got this, he need, they do need time, but still, you can't uh, lose the first game of the season, and then you're in Europe, see if he gets put out here, dangerous times. Wow. It is, it, it, it will be under pressure, because I think you're always under pressure, but I think people saying he's not doing a good job, how can you say that already? You know what I mean, I know it was the poor results against Celtic in the Cup, but the league form was pretty good. Obviously, start the season is a disaster by losing the first game, but I think you've got to give the team a bit of time. But yeah. it's, but, it's but the nature of the beast up here, let's be honest. Last season, no, these were all watching them I remember no, no, it. I remember no. it. <laughs> I can rewind the tapes. But this is what I'm saying. <laughs> start winning games, you get rid of But that's just what I'm saying. Say, he, he, people are almost forgetting Beals been in November. That's true. That's months and months. But it's still, he never had a brand new team in November. I know, but you still. His next four weeks are huge. Huge, absolute huge. Champions League ties and your first and game the old against, old firm against your, at, at home. I don't know, Andrew. Wait, I'm telling you, I don't know. Don't worry, he's got that. <laughs> so the next four weeks for me is huge, and it, uh, listen, only time will tell because when you become the manager of any old firm, you have to hit the ground running and get results. That's all the fans demand for. You'll get longer. You'll get to January at least. Regardless, well, I'm, no, I'm not talking about any further past the next four weeks, and then we'll take it for there. Right, okay. Mate. Uh, <laughs> the guy who is under immense pressure, oh. surely Lee Johnson. At oh, oh my oh, god! Terrible result for them. Great result midweek as well. I know. That's just kind of some tibs up under why? Lee Johnson. What? It's so inconsistent. What is that? I don't know why. Have you ever been involved with a team like that? By the way, do you know what? After, after watching what, the highlights consistent? Saturday, I'm looking at the two <laughs> goals. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the two goals they've conceded Saturday. Poor goals. Goals that are avoidable. Mm. Like. Louis Stevenson, was it Louis Stevenson left back? Yeah. Got to defend that better. And then the big boy up front from Motherwell. Fish, he got battered, didn't he? Absolutely harassed the shit out of Fish. Battered him. Good. <laughs> and then. Uh, I didn't click hey, away that. Hey. Battered him <laughs> and then. Uh, fucking just like. Just, you're thinking of fish, you're thinking of fish and chips right now. <laughs> so, I had fish and uh, chips last night. Lips at you? I had fish and chips last <laughs> night. Not, I, had <laughs> no, I was doing it the, I was doing it the Swan Inn and Banton. Wow, best was fish. Good, mate. Mate, unreal. Fish is fucking about that size. Couldn't even finish it. Uh, it is defensively so okay, but aye. Defensively uh, they're just struggling. Um I mean if Mika the singer's scoring against you, you're fucked, didn't you? I, I, I can be I can be violent. He looks a player by the way. I tell you what, he looks like a player. Didn't I tell you what, disappointed is Van Veen, but off. See if you Arsenal that boy. I'm not sure. Sets up the first one, scores the second one, is that right? Yeah, yeah, scores the second. I'm not sure he was at Arsenal. Really good. He ran them ragged, didn't The second it? one, the second one, he got it back. Chop, chop, chop. Find the yard and then reverse the goal, and I thought, wow, yeah, this boy's this boy's going to score goals. I'd say this is the year that all the other teams are closer to like Hibs, Aberdeen, Hearts. I think yep. St. Murray will be close to all them. Right. Kelly will be close to them. Aye. Mother will be close to them. Aye, I think it could be a. I think a like race for top, the top six, six will be. A lot See, it's it's Aberdeen and um, Aberdeen and Hearts. As much as I said Aberdeen going to uh, come third, their managers are still no proven. 
Mm. Well, we don't know much about them because they just started. Good. You know what I mean? So you don't know how good they're going to be. But with Hibs, Lee Johnson, that that was that was their big downfall last year. Was their inconsistency? Win three or four games, lose two or three. Win one, then lose one. It's like. They're up there, up there. I think that's why he's probably he's still in a job. Johnson, he's always doing no, that. he's always doing that five foot three. But they had such a good performance through the, the midweek against um, the team in Europe, and then I don't know. I just don't know. John, you always good, don't he? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's a great he's a player, player, by player the way. Really, see, really culture there. Who, who's it? Who's it? Mean, is that? Can they two play together? I think so. Aye. Who's the dog you there? Need, you need to play a possession based football. Aye. You need to play the two, aren't you? You can't, aye. To be fair, they were dogging about in that game, weren't they? No, they were great, aye. Lafondre up front, he, he's always going to create chances. Sharp Lafondre, ah, didn't he? Did you play against him at Reading? Ah, long, long, long so time sharp, ago. So sharp, wasn't he? I think I did. Did oh, you see the stat been... that came up in the Man City Burnley game? It was like goals per minutes in the Premier League. Lafondre was second. Was he? <laughs> it was Haaland and Lafondre. Wow. He scored a goal every like 29 minutes in the Premier League or something like that. Have you watched the Burnley documentary? No, I heard it's amazing. No, the company is amazing. Is he? Aye. Goes into boardrooms, mate, and just tells them what's happening. Does he? Uh-huh. I'm not being funny, but I cannot believe when he had Burnley back at pre-season this year. That's not right. So he brought them back and then went on holiday again and then brought them back? Aye. What so they that? came back middle of June. They'd only finished like a week or two oh weeks. God. And they trained for, what was it they said? They trained for a week and they were out for four days and then they trained for another week and they were out for four days again. I was like... It's mad, isn't it? Has he brought that for? Because no new signings at that point either. It's not for me that. You're fuming with that, aren't you? See, on that question, on that, that topic there, quickly, would you rather know he had a winter break than have a longer summer? No, I'd rather have the winter break. Would you? Aye. 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 Wow. I just think it's players like, and it's, it's, especially for the likes of Rangers and Celtic, and obviously when we were in Europe last year, I think it's just that mental break when you've had so many games. December's always mental. There's always like eight games at least in December. So I just think that wee two week break that comes early Jan, it does feel like a sort of mental reset more than anything. So, but it's probably going to be doing away with it next year. Yeah. Oh, I'd, I'd, I would hate that. I just want to get to me and then up the road for yeah, eight I'm weeks. I'm the same. I love to you when you're doing South, oh, when you got fucking eight weeks off. Eight, eight weeks was the max you ever got. Amazing, but even if you got the six, you were still delighted. Oh. I tell you what, I hate and I. It's just part of, part and parcel, and fans love it. See Boxing Day games, man. Oh, the worst fuck. things in the Brilliant. world for the fan. Ah, for the fan, that's uh, what I mean. For the fan, aye. it's unfair in the player. But it's crap. Sitting there well, training on the Christmas, Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> training on Christmas Day. Fuck's I sake, loved that, mate. I loved training Christmas Day. Did you? Because it was so depressing. We no. were. Like, you don't like Christmas, so training uh, Christmas Day. Christmas uh, is the best day of the year, man. Right, well, Hibs get the second leg done. No. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm getting dead anti Scottish. I think it'll be tell the truth. Good. I don't think so. It'll be it? tough, but I do think that that third the third goal was massive at Easter Road. I think Aye. going over there two one. I think you're expecting Lausanne to win at home, but it's Friday, wasn't it? Defensively, they need to be strong, and on the basis of the weekend, they're as weak as fuck. Another free child plays for Lee Johnson on the holiday. Brilliant, that. <laughs> Jet to. What do you think, Si? And he threw it. It's, we need it for the Scottish game, didn't we? I think they will go through it, but then if they win it's this the fear one, of playing Aston Villa next week. Do you even want Although to play yeah, Aston Villa at the weekend got absolutely battered, but I'm surprised at that. So was I. Newcastle, Newcastle were brilliant. Good. Newcastle were good. You watch this documentary as well? Who's? Eddie, Eddie, Has Newcastle everyone got a documentary? Or? Just sitting watching documentaries. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie <laughs> Howe, mate. What's a fucking documentary? Oh, he, he's. He, see, when you think he's a pussy, he's not, mate. Did you really want him to sell it, didn't you know? I wanted him to say like you uh, didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't either. <laughs> Edward, I wanted Edward. Uh, so and he, he, he's not got uh, Lee Johnson needs to start winning games of football, mate. A hundred percent. I think he's probably one of the favourites for the sack race. Yeah. Well the fan at the fans forum said, didn't he? Like he needs to have a good first sort of Aye, month, two yeah. months of the season because that's a so called winnable fixtures yes. for him. So Nah, I think they do. You see when you think you have I I I can't I just don't believe they would get third place. No, they'll no, not get third. Do you know what I mean? No, and you, Hib, you, sh- you shouldn't be thinking that about Hibs. I think Every they're season, they're they're sh- year, mate. Mm-hmm. Ah, they've got surely their squad's more than good enough. I think back going four, forward mate, again. Back ah, four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's no. See, when you think Hibs at the start of the season, they should be one of the teams you're thinking by the way they can get third with a budget or whatever. Um, but you don't think that. I, I, I don't like to make this sound like disrespectful towards the two guys, but like you think of Lou Steams and and Big Paul Hanlon, mm-hmm. the, the length of time that they've had the service at Hibs. And they're still being relied upon to be your main centre half and your left back. Yeah. You would think at some point maybe players would come in because what Charging. age would Paul Han- yeah. Hannon be? 35, 36 maybe? A bit younger than me, 30, maybe 34, 30, 30, 30, Aye. 30. Louis Stevenson. Louis Stevenson, me 35. Don't get it wrong, still, doing a, still Aye, good enough to be playing. Get but challenged. Get, but no getting challenged because that's all we have. But they've had some shockers, to be fair, Hibs defensively over the years, some of the players that have come in. So. 
It's been a problem there for them. Yeah, Aston Villa, honestly, I said it on the couple of days when they fear me. I don't rubbish. think you want to play them. I know no. it's an amazing game, but it's not amazing when goals just keep going in and I think they could do that back a day. Uh -huh. They're brilliant for her. Uh -huh, they are very good, they are very good. Uh, Andy, how was the game? Did no no draw with Kelly? Uh, wasn't, it, wasn't it great? Um, again, probably some of what we said about the other teams, I don't think we are at our best yet, but I think Kelly were good to be fair, I think Kelly poses some threats and, and asks us questions but I think what we've seen so far is we look a lot more solid defensively than we were last year and I think a foundation at any team to be successful I think you need to be solid at the back and I think we look a lot better, I think set pieces were a big problem for us last year, Kilmarnock had, don't know how many exactly but felt like they had a few corners while three kicks dealt with them really well uh, but I don't think we've probably never created much going forward either so I don't think we're at our best yet, I think it will come but I think obviously when you're, you're not at your best you need to try and pick up points obviously three was aim but got a draw but Kelly Kelly oh, they look good like, they? Aye, they look good I think they just look very well organised got good players can hurt you set pieces will always be a threat uh, I think a dark What's horse shoot for them honestly can't be good like hearts year. and hibs and that like when Robbie Nielsen left I know go and get Derek McKinnis crazy yeah, there's heart, there's fixture list comes out. Come on, look at the first two fixtures. Rangers at home. Four points. Heart's away. Heart's away. You're sitting thinking, oh God, what a start that is, and I've got four points. But see, Delmi, I didn't see when he looked at it, I didn't think it the phased him. No, of course it wouldn't have. I just think, they, they, you said it last week, you said the fans from them were created well. Yeah. They brought in some decent players. Seen Big Stu Finley up the turn the other day. Big Stu Finley, what about his shot? How's he want to come back on? Does he? Uh -huh, but he says, no, you're honking. And he's <laughs> he'd actually done alright, didn't he? Nah, he was decent. He's, 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 great big boy. He had a great effort at goal, by the way. He's a great signing, mate. Brilliant signing for this league. Aye, for the Robbie, right. I thought Robbie Dees again was really good against us. I thought he was excellent against Rangers. I thought he was good at the weekend. Just shows you, mate. I remember playing against Robbie Dees at Cowden Beef. It's mad, that, mate, isn't it? Look at him. There's a lot of good players playing. in the leagues, but they, that's where like, your Livingston should be looking at. These teams, Mallow, Livingston, and all that, they should be looking at that Aye. market. Here, how is uh, Rosenberg? You're obsessed with Rosenberg, aren't Love you? I came on the show last week and said Leeds have got a 17 year old centre mid that's going to be at Man City. Rosenberg had a 16 year old at centre mid. What's his name? Na Napen or Nipen, he was ridiculous, mate. Right. 16. Wow. Starting? I started. What, what he was their best player. Go and get off the back four and just lend Aye, it. But had a bit about him out of possession as well. He was really good. But they were good. They were good. Yeah. Uh, Did you see Cal's shout? Remember Cal told us about a boy at Bristol Alex City? Scott. Aye. Somebody just bid 24 million or something Aye. for him. Who was it? Bournemouth, yeah. was it? Bournemouth. Sure it was Bournemouth. Aye, but I heard all the, all the Premier League clubs wanted him. Aye, Wills bid for him last year. And then Rhys James got made the Chelsea member. He said that he'd got the top as well. He was good, yesterday, Rhys James. Was he? He yeah. was good, aye. Really good. He's not bad with the shouts. So, Cal, player. eh? So, this 16 yeah. year old that one for the top. Very good. I'll, I'll get his exact name. It was like Nipen or Napen or something. He'll, he'll definitely play Tinkas after the way he played. Was he big? Decent size, aye. Uh, no, they were good. Uh, really point. good technical team. Um, I think going forward, you can see they're, they're really good. I think we were probably a bit more surprised though that they were quite happy to let us have the ball in certain areas, but see on the counter attack, they were. Well, I think most of their but, chances in the, the first half was for counter attack. And then when they go to 2 0, they probably try to sit back and hold on to what they got. We gained a bit more control, and I thought we had a couple of good chances towards the end. Shanks obviously gets a big goal for us to, 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 to Tin Castle, but I'm confident. I think. If we play the way we can, I think we can, we can definitely get a great goal We buzz. Well, yeah, no, no, I'm lying, Boise. Boise. Oh, yeah. How is he? Boise's alright, yeah. Is he put dirty? Doesn't he? No, he does, but how weird is this? He doesn't bring headphones or earphones or that. So he'll watch a, he'll watch a video oh, before he goes to sleep with a volume, volume blasting at his laptop. Nah. Like that. Oh, no, that's. You didn't, mate? That's shocking, that. I know. See, when you room with me, man, you're in bed and sleeping by 10 o'clock. <laughs> Were you? <laughs> Fucking I thought you'd be one that would say, no. oh, wait. <laughs> Whether you're late or not, you're in my room, you're fucking sleeping by 10 o'clock. <laughs> see, you're snoring. See, you're, bed, s you you're snoring. You were fucking picked out your bed and dragged outside. Mate, that, was Jason, <laughs> that was Jason Hope. What, snoring? No, sleeping at nine. Swear to God, wee glass of milk, quote, and then that was him gone. Fuck sleeping. off. Mate, and I was no up joke. at seven all the time. Nine o'clock every open night. Open oh, I, I, blinds open, and they're like, we didn't keep sleeping, so get up. Or going in for a walk and get breakfast and then You we went go. for a walk? Ah, I fucking right, I did. did up you get you know, I was no, <laughs> it. Three match. Three match nerves. Well, you, I, mean, I, would, uh, mate, I would have had you. I, I used to stay up so late. No, man. I got up at seven because uh, I could get down and get the fry up first before anybody else came down. And then going go to the healthy breakfast and the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I couldn't sleep right before I get no, no, out like, I used to pick up my phone, but how's it three in the morning, man? I'm up in fucking. Oh, I'm not like that, that's mad. That's what I used to be like, mate. I am about after 11 or something, but I'm no. I can't sleep. Did people, hate, did people hate Sherman? You, Sherman? Uh, or did you get somebody you knew would uh, carry on? Probably be Paul Cadis. I have. 
Should be sitting in his feet, he's mate, all night. <laughs> Honestly, mate. I, I'm I, talking I, I can't see bags of horrible that week with other night at four again. We hope he is well, see, because he's just put he has a, a good pro in that hope he would go to sleep at nine, but he would drink about forty bottles of water, so he'd be up doing like six no, pisses a night. That's crap. Flick lights on all that, oh, like three in the morning. Like, what is going on? No. You said that Nazi and uh, <laughs> Frankie <laughs> share put the beds together and he does wrestling moves. <laughs> That's so shy of it. We gold dust man with the beds together. <laughs> 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 oh, I was we Nazi be <laughs> but my man, what is, who do you get if he's beat Rosenberg? Uh, uh, in? <laughs> Hajik split or ah they played um, Slavia. T O K Salonica is uh, it? Maybe? No, I know who it is. Hajik split and somebody. I looked at the fixtures last week actually. Who's that? Is that the Cyprus separate team? They drew an old first leg, didn't they? Who was that? We trove on. I just heard that. Where did that come from? Me James Bond, man. Me James Bond. They know Greek. Sitting with okay, no? a tux on his podcast. Uh, watch, watching <laughs> James Bond, Bond, didn't he? Sitting with his gun in his hand. I would love him to come on and talk about Lee Johnson. Oh, <laughs> Lee Johnson. He's very, he's very opinionated about Lee Johnson. Well, yeah, for that side of the curtain. <laughs> we'll, need to, we'll need to get him on the podcast one, damn it. Who? The guy that sits, sits behind all the information. Me James Bond, I get him on. <laughs> <laughs> what school did James Bond go to? That quiz was wild, damn it. We've not done one of them in a while. <laughs> Who would you like to see up for this, the, the wing challenge next? Who would you like to see be good on the line? I'd love to see Cal. Oh, that would be good. GMS. GMS would be good. Bloody hell. <laughs> he wouldn't he would go by the first boiling. Yeah, who could we get for that then? Oh, the wee man's Mifford couldn't handle even mild, could he? Be GMS. <laughs> I would pay good money. To oh, watch him, mate, yeah. he could. He could. Who he would you have him against, us? mate? Uh, That's important. I'd like to see fucking somebody like. Barry Ferguson. Nah, he'd be angry, wouldn't he? He'd be angry. He wouldn't date, but he wouldn't date that. Don't think he would do it. GMS, I'd love to see your dad in it, but that'd be incredible. Hugh Keevans. <laughs> Gordon Smith would be good. Gordon Smith, just sitting in his pants, you know, when that would be Start incredible. Green. Green. Get GMS on for the hot wings. Is GMS going? To, he's coming on soon, isn't he? Aye, aye. I think he's next Monday, isn't it? Potentially next week. Aye. Is he in his last year at Hearts? Or is he? Oh, he's he's away, he's got, who's he with? Not maybe well, he's playing me by because he's, <laughs> he's still struggling with his broken foot, so I think he's trying to get fit first and then. Ah, good for him. <laughs> Imagine we'll get that next week, man. He's the type that wears slippers in the house, isn't it? Aye, definitely. So they are, I was thinking that. Do you wear slippers? Nah. Aye. See, anybody that wears. Do you know a new, a new pity? I mean, grown men walk about the gym with cycling shorts on. <laughs> Mate, what about but that? One, when the fuck were you in the ah, gym? Ah, you've never no, been to the gym. I go to, I've got a membership now in the Marriott, I go to, but I don't go to the gym. Oh, yeah. I just go to the pool and the sauna. And I'm wandering about before I go in, and there's grown men with a t-shirt on, with cycling shorts underneath it. You can see everything. The Johnsons are? I can see that they feel up, but what? That's not right, that. Crocs. Crocs. And it, no, these no, people are about with Crocs. Yeah, 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 we've not done the New Year pet peeves, any new ones cropped the up. The weather in Scotland, mate, is ah, really driving crap. you. The cycling, the cycling in the West End. That's the ah, biggest the one. Cycling the West the weather was a disgrace. But the, the, the cycling brought a lot of attention to Glasgow. But I'm not being funny, right? It was amazing. I don't care world chances or whatever. Who's watching people cycle? <laughs> Honestly, why are you going to watch somebody cycle down a road? <laughs> what is entertaining about well, that? Just get your wee boy to go up and do the street bike. Hold the back of his bike. Why are you watching people cycle in Great well, Western Road? A big man was here yesterday banging the thing. I was here yesterday. He was here banging the gate. Were you? Pish, man. No, I was good when he banged it when they're coming in. Max was, old, Max was 18, so. Hand them what? Max, the, I'm going to take him out of Glasgow, get a pair of trainers at Glasgow, and then obviously as we were walking by George Square, they were just coming round, so. You but don't even support it, you don't even have a, like, a favourite I don't player. get it either, I don't get it. No, oh, I'm going to watch the cycle race. That's him away now, what, what, what the fuck is, is it, he watching? Is it hard to cycle with a leather skirt? They've got an engine on their bike and all. <laughs> 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 you know, See when you were younger, do you, put, do you used to put a crushed can in your back wheel? Ah, so yeah. <laughs> do you ever used to sail stunt pit, uh, uh, dust pace. caps? Uh, of course, with fame motors. Uh, uh, uh. But uh, you're, it's a good point you make about the cycling, but, That's crap. Uh, but you see the effort they guys put through their body, mate, to get in the woman, sorry. They all cheat. Uh, they all follow it. Who is it? All oh, the cycling, they all follow it. Everyone will get caught. France on Netflix. Brilliant. No. Brilliant, mate. See what's this? brilliant about it? Tact Tell me no, what's brilliant about it. It's tactical, mate. <sighs> Do you know the team's strong? What's tactical about it? It's all about like, who leads and then who comes in next and then who stays back. It's brilliant. I could do that. I could coach you. No, you could not The motors zoom, the motors have to zoom room, but you know the motors were going mental in Glasgow. It was this. There was. 
they were going to slot, they were slot on Glasgow saying the, 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 the race course because they'd done it through the city centre was a disgrace and for health and safety for the riders because it was too narrow and the potholes the potholes but they never even fixed it and they said because it was city's dead narrow the roads said it was a, a hazard for everybody and there's about 8,000 pigeons on the street <laughs> trying to dodge out Glasgow pigeons don't move the race where they're not <laughs> pigeons but I, I love it I, I, but we should do something all the time for Glasgow like see have markets over the streets keep the lights on through the but whole night but what about other businesses that need to shut because the roads are shut and they can't get any customers I know you I, mean, I, know, them, I know, like, know see them struggle uh, no I know that but I mean see you doing at the Clyde Get big markets everywhere and lights and everybody goes down because you have to your city alive. But how can you when it's pushing down the rain constantly, mate? Nah, I suppose. I how the, the fuck are we? How are we the, the country that gets fucking rain all the time? <laughs> the weather's shite. <laughs> everybody wants to come here as well. I thought oh. I'd see me were in Rosenberg on countries? Thursday and on you look and it was, what was it, 22 degrees? It was nice on Thursday, wasn't it? See me you're away, you're so bitter when it's nice back here, ain't you? Aye, uh, you don't want to be a the world, man. What's Rosenberg like as a place? Should Scotland, mate, Scotland. Honestly, it's the exact same. Is it? Aye. Bogan, didn't you? Lovely mountains, valleys and all that. But weather's the same. Pish. Your, your region, because of where you live, you couldn't get from one side of the city to the other. Quick. Take, you get take, me about, up there, aye. take me about an hour and a half to ten aye. at least every day, because it's fucking crap. I it was taking me 40 minutes to get the boys to Boca. But it's, it's almost telling you, though. Walk. Good. Walk to Edinburgh. That's why, that's, why that's why he's staying. That's why he's not got a car, isn't it, Paul? I didn't really bother me. Do you know what I mean? What's happening? Scooting a bit. Scooting the, the track. Have we got to learn to drive this year? You know that's illegal, mate. Huh? Just no consideration for the laws now. I've got a helmet. Where? No, the car. <laughs> Have you you've seen the guy say on uh, on TikTok that's doing the learning the driving lessons? The Scottish guy, Aye. no. No, I don't hate TikTok. I think we should do that with Slaney. Get him filmed up and on a learning. He program. failed an automatic test, mate. <laughs> How the fuck can you fail an automatic that test? Si that was the sixth test. Did he look five with manuals, clutch control? And then the sixth one automatic and drove up the cub. Right up, fucked up the cub. And then the, the, the exam, I was like, Paul, you need to come off the cub. Because <laughs> there's pedestrians coming. But see, you ever have when you were learning to drive, when you go that way with the wheel, but the motor goes the opposite way for you? You're in reverse. I don't know, but we were going up the wrong way onto the cave. <laughs> uh, that's because you're reversing, you daft bastard. That was that end of the test. I told you about the one I did, slapped the money, didn't I? Uh -huh. Five hundred quid. So that change your mind after <laughs> <laughs> uh, You take it all day if you're a test guy. Uh, yeah, what, what are they thinking? I had the fattest. Uh, <laughs> um, what is it? What they called instructor ever? I remember fucking doing that and then crossing your hands. He went, "Don't. Cr you're being lazy now." And I'm looking at that. I'm being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> 24 stone, you tell me I'm lazy because I'm crossing my hands. See, when I was, when I was 17, oh, when I was about 18, 19, it suddenly started doing. Yeah, teach us how to drive, kid. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I remember it because I had to get to the booster seat to see if I was doing So, when I was uh, 18, I, I got this guy and he, he turned up and says, Right, Kevin, he says, ah, they Tell me you're a youth team player. I says, Aye. Pulled out the comb at the back pocket and started combing his hair like went, I'm the fucking sexiest driving stuck from Sunderland. No, as a polo, every time, every I time, I, every time I quit, he just pulled the comb and went, and then he's like old school with the comb. What is he? Oh, he says, I'm a fucking god. Do you fancy, Jack? I don't know. Did you hear the leather skirt on? <laughs> <laughs> Remember my boy, I done the, the, the test, the beat test, crash course, and after two days, he took me to Airdrie and I walked to it because he was shouting at us. Oh, did you do the intense course? Yeah, Airdrie took us to Airdrie up okay. but I know, so after it's only Tuesday I said, Man, I can't adult you, you're speaking to me, I've had enough. I've got out and just as I about to shut the door, he went, wimp. Got us a wimpy guy. <laughs> so on the way home, he drove back for Airdrie in my house. I sit in the back seat and he drives me home. What, a taxi? Aye, because uh -huh. we'd fell out. So you done two it's, days in sacked it? Aye, it was Monday to Friday, but it was brutal, mate, didn't he speak? It's a fortune, is that, I, I, I fucked myself at a junction, just on, on the motors running roundabouts and all people in the hornet, and I'm like, mate, go help me. He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most nerve-wracking experiences ever. I think a diving test. I was yeah. oh, I was so nervous when I done my diving test. Mate, I'm not getting into that. The guy that done mine loved open go. I was like straight bastard. away. If I could do whatever the fuck I like, you know, it, it. honestly. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. only been driving five years. Thirty years. Uh, thirty. I was mate. Uh. Aye. You were thirty when you started so diving. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> uh, fucking loser, mate. It's still time for you, yet, mate. <laughs> Kids pushing down had to walk him in for skill, mate. It's soaking. <laughs> He's like, get your fucking driving test done, man. <laughs> oh, mate. Why were you not wanting to have the drive? I, I was straight away as soon as I turned, what is it, 17 or 18? 17 18, I just done my lesson straight away. I was 18. Failed it first time run. I saw that, I never knocked somebody down. In reverse yeah. parking. Uh, Part thought it was a single single carriageway and there was a motor parked with its hazards and t the guy was roadside in the windy talking to somebody. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was at the, the dive instructor was at just ease past him. And I was like, ain't anybody's. And I was just like gone dead slow. And the guy stopped talking to his pal and just walked on the road. And the, 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 the instructor had to slam the brakes. But I was going to do it. But he'd done it first to fucking up. So. <laughs> and he fell. No, he actually didn't feel me, but I was gone, mate. My legs were like, ah, this is the next 10 minutes. I was doing all something to do. And then I, I, do you know what he done? How I failed my first time? I never ever, ever once done an emergency stop in my lessons. Did you know? No, is that an, is that oh, an emergency stop? Emergency stop. Emergency stop. Emergency emergency stop. stop. Fuck break, so I, nev I never done that and he asked me to do it and I just didn't know what I was doing and then when I pulled away I never checked the blind spot and that was a major. Fucking dope man. <laughs> do you know who's the worst person? <laughs> Should I start cycling at that point? See him mate, when you go somewhere and you're oh. fucking, you've got food and you're driving, especially at games, I was like, gonna stick that in your sat nav, mate, and he just patches you, mate. So no. you need to stick the fucking sat nav, and he doesn't, he, he doesn't even use his phone to tell no, you. Do you remember it, it, when he does tell you directions, mate? Holy fuck! No, do you remember when I did choose? <laughs> it was the opposite. It was the opposite way. My my, my sat nav, my phone. I got upside down, sorry. Upside down. Oh, mate, honestly, what a boy. Uh, right, St Johnston. Oh Deary, mate. man, they're what struggling. Do you, seriously, what do you do now if you're St Johnston at this moment in time? Because to me, it's, you're done. I think you go part time, don't you? <laughs> just say the boys, boys part time Next week. But you've got to feel for Steve McLean because they're not, they're not signing players. Nah, no, no, no. Players are not. They, they signed another player. They signed another player. They signed another goalie. Have you seen his two goalies? Two goalies. Imagine if they started playing with two goalies. I don't know if they started playing with two goalies. I don't know if they started playing with two goalies. I don't know if they started playing with two goalies. I don't know if they started playing with two goalies. I don't know if they started playing with two goalies. I don't know if they started playing with two goalies. For Matty Kennedy, I have Kelly. Kelly, yeah. Uh, so Kelly had a bigger club than St Johnston, though, no? Yeah, I would say so. I'll get Ken for that, but, but I just no, mean no, I, I would agree with you on that one. I would agree with you. Kelly filled the stadium sometimes. St Johnston get about 1,500 home fans, whereas Kelly get about 5,000, no? Or am I mad? Somebody will correct me on that. No, you're not far off that for it, but, it, but it's worrying that if Kelly are out, or, or can spend money in players' wages and stuff. Like, where are you going to get players for? So Johnston's always had a kind of a model of not paying players too much. I think they had a ceiling of. I can't remember, 60 grand a year or something like that. It wasn't much. Yeah. I think more than that. Good, so, uh, it was about the 12, 13 hundred quid a, a week. week. They didn't go too much above that. And then they would, obviously one or two would go above that for whatever reasons. But there's only so long you can go with that budget with the way the world's going and stuff and things like that. But do you think clubs do enough to get young players for it? Do you think they do enough in Scotland? Well, their youth team won the youth cup last year. I'm sure they did. Some Aye, they did. Do you think, do, do you think in, in no, Scotland we do that. enough, to, or, or maybe the players aren't there, but do you think we... Do enough at a young age to bring players through, no. or, or do you think the players are there and they're just not getting a chance? I like what Celtic have done it, or they, or they brought young boys of it out on London. I'm surprised Summers didn't get a Queen's top Park. league. I think Summers could play in the SPL. So do I. I'm surprised, they, like, like a Livingston, I know he maybe know their style, but he, ah, he could maybe. Um, even a St Johnston, I don't know why they've no went for him. Mm. He He's that good. Where's like we Kai Kennedy and all that now? They're in just. Kai's still there. Falk, Falk, I think. I don't think they're right, Paul. I don't think they do enough. Do you know? I don't think they do enough. It's all right saying they're not ready, but when are they going to be ready? Mm. But they do need to be good enough, don't they? These managers get to see them every day, don't they? St Johnson, I don't know. I don't know what they do. I know, well, I know. do you know what you should do? You should arrange a game where you just beat somebody and get a bit of confidence. So they've went and arranged a friendly with Burnley. <laughs> Wait, what are they thinking? <laughs> Imagine you're a player, mate, and you've been scalped for Ross County, and you're like, "We're going to go and play Burnley, lads." I mean, that could. What are they, they, I thought you were joking. No, they're three weekends due to Luton's postponement for their ground development. They're playing Burnley in a friendly. <laughs> I don't, I'm not even See, you've got the gaffer, gaffa, what's happening here? See, for ah, the players, I do yeah. think, like, yeah, 11 guys out of the pub, they'll play them. There's aye. definitely a mentality. Get a draw, try and get a draw. Like, if, get a draw. If they go and put Burnley in a friendly and get battered 5 0. Oh, you're gone, mate. Right, you're thinking, fuck. I even think the build up to it, that's the last thing you want to know. To be fighting about playing them. Isn't it? Uh -huh. They do notoriously stick with managers, don't they? The, the game managers, about a time, can you see the same with Stephen? Well, the chairman, the chairman, is it Jeff Brown, that was there for a lot of years, he's just. Um, I think he's departed and passed on to somebody else. So I don't know how uh, this maybe a new board, is it a new chair, whatever. Is it maybe they're not the wanting to spend money? Maybe they're trying to tighten the shop a bit. Is it maybe or he's trying to sell it? I can't remember what the situation is, but there, there's something going on behind the scenes. But on the park, they're just not good enough. I think he's 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 rematch obviously staying the league in it, and Aye. I don't think they're giving him much to work with in terms yeah. of. Aye. I think. Every team sort of strengthened. Dundee brought in a lot of players. Uh, obviously, just coming into the league, Ross County's brought a few players. I think it's only really sort of St Johnston and Motherwell that have brought in a lot, but even Motherwell have signed a couple in the last couple of weeks. So, 
you've got to give him something. You've yeah. got to like, yeah. yeah. give him some sort of budget coming to bring in uh, players. It's hard to criticise him because he doesn't have. Um, I think one of the young boys played in Saturday that set up the goal Ballantyne. for. Cammy Ballantyne, he was at Montrose, not a good player. Aye, so he mm. played in Saturday, set up the goal for. No, the goal, he, he played in Stevie May, shot across the keeper, but. No, I, I'm, I'm worried for St Johnson because obviously since they've won the two cups, things have just seemed to have went south. Yeah. And that was. Do you know why? Because after they won the two cups, Sai tipped them for third the next season, didn't he? What did he smell like? You tipped them beef. You, you tipped them for third the next season <laughs> ever since. That's right, I <laughs> Ever since they went right then. Can I say, I tipped them for third when they had Kerr and McCandon and then they lost them. Did I not see one of those boys that went down size, bought his out his contract at Wigan or left his contract at Wigan? Was it Jason Kerr? Was it Jason Kerr? I read that. So who, so who's there? he going to? Shauna, huh? Who's he going to? So I if we're talking about exactly. Elleron Hibbs needing a, a centre half, Kerr, huh? go and get him. Because I'm sure he's left because is Wigan no paying the players' wages or something? That's right. I think, the, I think he's left Wigan. I'm going to check if he's signed James McGrath. Was it James McGrath, the boy who was at, um, at Dundee United last year? I'm sure he was the same. Uh -huh. I'm sure he was trying to get out. Okay, yeah. Shout to Jason Kerr. A team that will definitely not be doing this at Man. Nah. I've seen them. What a good job he's done, mate. I've seen them twice this year, mate, and they've looked good both games. To be fair, look very well organised, but you can see they've got a clear, a clear way of playing when they're attacking. Like, obviously, they play with three at the back, yep. but their wing backs are like especially in the right, right, straight, very, good, very, very attacking. So I think they'll do. I think they'll do well this year. I think the sort of teams that finished sort of mid table last year, I think they've improved. Yeah. So I think it is going to be like like Motherwell and something. I think it's going to be really competitive, aye. Uh, I, I think like Motherwell as well. They play with either brilliant. two up front or three up front. They've got players in that position. They've got, I think they've got like four strikers. Yeah. Uh, they've got a couple of wingers, obviously as well. They brought in the boy. I think it was, was it not a record transfer fee for for something. The boy McMenamin over for Northern Ireland. He looked good in the game. That's I right. So see, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the four four game. So I, I think they'll be good this year, mate. Dundee yeah. looked decent as well. Not like a good I game like. since since Man Dundee. Right. Am I right in saying that Trevor Carlton's went to Dundee? Yes, uh, paid money for him as well. Dundee showed a bit of ambition this, this summer. That's what the say, because Trevor Carson was one of the outstanding goalkeepers out with the old firm last year. Oh, 100 percent. Like really, really good. Yeah. I mean, I was watching the highlights last. Like, I was looking at myself, thinking, "Am I watching this right? Trevor Carson's in the, the wrong goal here." Mm. Do you think if, like, see Stevie Robinson? Do you think if, like, like Hibbs, if they go to the Lee Johnson, do you think he'd be in the Aye. frame? To go but again, I don't even think Hibbs fans would be happy with that appointment. Mate. I don't. I could be wrong, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I agree with you. But the job Aye. he doesn't. He done the same mother. I want to third in the league. Mm -hmm. yep. well, mother, well, well. So the track record there, having Aye. McInnes can get teams third in the league. I That's think what he teams is, are desperate for. Uh, it. I think he's really similar to McInnes as well. I think first things first, they get their team organised. I think yeah. defensively. So man, death in top six. No, so I, tough mate. I can't. I think they could be right up there as well. I. I said no to them, but it's tough to. I think it's time of season. We're two games in, but the, 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 the early signs are good. I wouldn't be surprised to see them in there. I finished top six last year, and I think they've got better. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dundee, what what will be a good season for Dundee? Just staying up, staying up. Just staying up. I think they'll be I happy think with that. The, the, the players that they brought in, um, I think they've seen decent players. So the only are. thing I'd say about Dundee is, and and I think it's always very very hard for teams outside the sort of top three fours. Who's getting them fifteen Striker, goals? Striker, definitely. You know I mean? Who's getting them fifteen goals yep. this year? Yeah. I think that is the one area where I think it's maybe going to be the difference for them finishing ninth, tenth to pushing a bit higher. Yeah, because I think their midfield, their wingers are good. I think obviously they've got they've got good players at the back defensively. Sure, that, yeah. I just think striker. Like, I know because they brought in look, Tiffany for Parthic. He was good. We come on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Set one of the goals. Um, but like you say, when when you're the teams down the bottom, or just want to stay in, you need somebody that's going to score you at least maybe 10, 15 goals. I'm surprised nobody in the league signed Malt. Dundee United caught him. Uh, you'd have your Dundee, you'd have taken Malt, wouldn't I you? I don't know. I mean, a few of the teams, I don't know why they've not went for him. I wouldn't mean, be surprised Dundee United paid more than Dundee. Though, uh, that's that. what I was going but to even, say. Even saying you're going to talk, I like, ah, look at the boy, the big, the older boy, Professor Brian Graham. I think right. he would have been like a good addition to like a Dundee or something like that. Uh, mm -hmm. And what they're needing. Yeah. He will so, score you goals oh, 100%, from set pieces. Right, he would score goals. Aye. Uh -huh. They're still capable of doing it at that level. Oh, well, the guy we had on last week still was at a club. Steve, I know. He'd be perfect That's for Dundee. Mad, he's just joking to play golf. He'd be perfect for Dundee. Dundee. That'd be the type that they'd be. Aye, uh, aye definitely. Still, I don't, I don't know. The big man's just so laid back. How would, that go, is, how would that go down that? Do you know? Dundee and Dundee United. 
Oh, no, I that well, mate, but I don't think the big man would particularly bother. Nah. We've done before, though, haven't we? Uh-huh. I suppose I've played for both clubs before. Yeah. Uh, right, Harry Kane's away at Bayern Munich. Did you think that would happen or did you think you'd stay at Spurs? I couldn't, I, I, I don't know what you think. I'm looking forward to seeing what your opinions are of this. Right, my opinion is. Good, Kevin, you've played in the English right, Premier League. He's an yeah. English Premier League I think, opinion. I, I listened to some of the, the pundits talk about, like, you don't. Name you, names, name names, go uh, after them. Was, was, was it Nevin Carragher? Carragher? One of the three of them. Les Ferdinand. Was saying you do not grow up wanting to be the Premier League's all time goal, goal scorers, and people are talking about trophies and stuff. They don't want to be the all time goal scorer. No, when, you, when you're a kid growing up, you, you want to win, like, cups Aye. and trophies and stuff. You don't think, oh, I want to grow up and be. One of the most goals ever in the league. Most goals ever, right? So right. that argument of trophies and all that was aren't put aside. But for me, what I'm, I would be concerned is, why did the likes of Man United there who, who need a striker? I don't think they would sell them, Kev. I don't think Tottenham would I sell them. I believe they didn't want think so? But, he, but surely, in, 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 in any walk of life, if the price is right, mm. you get, you, 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 and if enough money's been put in front of you, you get it. And I think the likes of Man United, is it because they're going through a, a I change owners and they're going to sell the club, but surely they signed that boy 100, Hodgson, 120 million. Had to go a bit above and beyond to get Harry Kane. I agree. Mate, he's got a goal scoring record, a right back, that striker man you've signed. I don't know what they've done there. He's got something like nine, nine goals in fucking year. 80 pairs last year. And he's got, uh, he's got back problems, I know. 70 million as well. Do you think it's a lot for an, a 30 year old Kane? Or is that, you think, would you still pay that for a guy that age? Well, well you're not I, getting any money back, are you? No. Ultimately, you go there for two, three years, you've gone 32, 33, you're not getting any money back, but for me, going to Bayern Munich, what he's seen is, it's not, it's not a case of he's going to go there and win the Bundesliga and get a trophy. He's going there with the idea that can Bayern Munich challenge in the Champions, Champions League. They never yeah. really do, do they? No, Bayern they never really do, but they're always there or thereabouts. Yeah, he's so left what? a better league, mate, as well. Aye. And you asked, if, uh, am I surprised? I'm surprised. Because I just thought, like, like you, You've been at Spurs for so long, surely under an attack manager like Ange, you can see it, it being a, a wee bit more of a positive season. See if you stay, it doesn't work out again. You're a free transfer, you walk into Man you, you walk exactly. into Man City. Was so that's that's, that's what I thought. Aye. And I just think going to buy a Munich, massive club, chance of chance a guy, but Bundesliga man, like. Well, Haaland, was, Haaland left there. Mate, you're sitting waiting young. for your deal to run out and go to Man City with Pep, aren't you? That's what I thought. Is it just one year, one year to go? Uh, one year. I only had one year left in the deal. And, you and you're breaking the, you're break stay for the year. Record. Break the Premier League record, go to Man U, uh, Man City. Matt O'Reilly told didn't he? Matt O'Reilly texted me saying the big man shite. It's like when you break it down like that, one year. What is one year when you're in your 30s anyway? I think Bayern is an unbelievable club. They can be a brilliant squad of players. They were very unlucky with Man City last year. They were very good, but they had big trip promoting up front. So that's why they needed Kane in. But as you say, one year to left, oh, you'd no. have the pick of the club. Then. See if he goes and wins the Champions League this year. Fair does. Right. I, mean, yeah. I just hate the though, his whole career, Harry Kane, apart from maybe one season where the Champions League, the semi final, and the league Leicester win were quite close. You're keeping you up, big man, you alright? I'm actually quite tired, aren't you? <laughs> Nothing worse when you talk to the yawns in it. No, you're absolutely <laughs> sorry, Ed. I'm sorry, Paul. It was that idea with your conversation. You even know if it was I love this to you. No, I love this to you, D man. No, you don't. I am. Your uncle's a big Bayern Munich fan. Ah, he is. Uh, what was I saying? Oh. I just hate <laughs> the fact that a player, a cane, the goals he scores, he never competes for leagues. He's not even won them. He doesn't even, he's never ever playing in big games. Aye. Champions, Champions League, League final, on it. Semi final. No, they beat, they beat no, Ajax. He didn't play. A final, uh-huh. He was oh, suspended. He was suspended Aye, so apart from that one final in, in the league they, they went for against Leicester, uh-huh. that's like See, apart from that, he sh- every year he should be playing in the biggest games. Yeah. Right. And that's the only thing we buy in the Champions League he is going to do that. Oh, but maybe. after one year, he would have had to pick a yep. clubs. See, uh, he, even at 30, the thought of having gone over and you can't understand and be speaking the dressing room, you need to learn the language, I couldn't be fucked up. Would you rather be the all-time Premier League goal scorer or win the uh, English Premier League? Oh, no, win the Bundesliga is a question. Because uh, I know what everyone I'd knows what well, I'd, 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 I'd rather win the all-time Premier League. So would I. If we're going to refer them to like... They win it every year. I know, mate. Refer them to like Maybe Alan Shearer. If you gave me Premier League of that, I'd, I'd want the Premier, Premier League. League. Alan Shearer, nobody ever talks about Alan Shearer winning the Premier League, do they? They always talk about Alan Shearer as the goal, the, 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 the all-time yeah, goal scorer. He won it with Blackburn, didn't he? He won it with Blackburn. So nobody ever really talks about it. Whereas, to beat Alan Shearer, to be the all-time... Goal score in the Premiership, that's a some feat that by But Shearer way. never done it in the league, as in, nah, but Shearer apart from when they leave with Blackburn, they've done nothing, part, he, never, he never won any leagues after that. I know, he never played Champions League, so he his record is there, Shearer. but he never, in his career, he never, apart from that league with Blackburn, I know. never done it in. I look at like, I, I, look, at, <laughs> I look at like Totti as well, like, Totti said that Roma was like, oh, all his career. Dud. He's he won the league though, Roma won the league, didn't he? I know, but that's what I mean. Like, he, uh-huh. People say, oh, you could, he could have went to Barcelona and won 10 league titles and Champions League and everyone said, ah, one club man, unbelievable. I know Ken said I cut of loans, but 
I don't stay for a year. No, no. I mean, stay, score 30 goals, okay. under, see what happens with Tottenham if you can get a cup, whatever, if you can. Eh? Free transfer, Man City, there you go, Champions League given. I don't like the one club man shout. As, as, a, as a player, though, you, you, you want to go and be competing and winning stuff. Look what, it done, look what it's done to Matt Letizia. His head's fried, mate. There you go. There you go. Mate, he's fucking unreal, that big guy now, man. <laughs> he's a belter, man. <laughs> but but Gerard, I don't know. Gerard, I mean... So you think Gerard should have went to Liverpool? 100% Chelsea came in from Mourinho. They had they already won the Champions League with Liverpool. Um, but Gerard should be winning the league. Because it was you that told, know, you told him to go to Arsenal, didn't you? <laughs> no, oh, fuck. <laughs> I remember something you said, mate, you should definitely see if go. You, see, see, if, see if you stayed at Celtic, right? So say you were Gerard, you stayed at Celtic, you were still one of the best players, and then you get an offer off a team that has got chances of winning leagues, are you leaving Celtic there? Because you're a Celtic fan, Gerard's a Liverpool fan, do you know what I mean? So you'd leave Celtic? What to, what, what, so you, you, what to win leagues? You've been a one-club man at Celtic, you're the best player, you're flying. But it's hard because Celtic are going to win the Scottish League, but... Nah, true, it's hard compared So if, if, if you put Celtic well, say, in, say you, say you put Celtic in the Premier League, right? You put Celtic in the Premier League, I'm away. <laughs> oh my God. No, I'll tell you why, because look, La even if you look at Larson, did he stay at Celtic too long? Because he then goes and wins the European Cup with Barcelona. A player that has ability deserves that for yeah. his career to look back in. Yeah. Are you a Celtic fan? I said, I'd be in for Celtic. <laughs> 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 I would love to, if I was a top, top player, I'd love to go to Real Madrid or a Barcelona. Oh, it's been Bellingham as well, he's oh, looking good he's already. Ah, he's they win that league pretty Mate, often. he's near he nerves at all, Bellingham. Is that what he's just after? Judah Hood. He, lo he, lo he loves him. He loves him. He loves him. He has a joke. He sees highlights real for the weekend. Mm. I know. And do you, know, do you know what the thing is with him? He knows he's good. Do you know what I mean? He's got that self-belief. He's got a 40 year old seed, but isn't he? Aye. Not a 40 year old seed, but he's got an old seed. I'll never forget, mate. When Dortmund played at Ibrox last year and he was shouting at 30 year olds, aye, no passing on the ball. Caning them, isn't he? Like, aye, Captain, aye. Matt Hummels didn't pass on the boys screaming at him that. And even like, his interview after the game, he was brilliant the way he spoke. Did you, so talking about that, did you hear Son when he got the Spurs captains? Aye, mate, mate, I didn't like that keep in fact fucking. Did he say Didn't he have, he just kept repeating himself, didn't he have a clue what to say, mate? Aye, lads, big season. Big uh, season. <laughs> 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 nah, aye, geezer. This is our home in here. But I don't like that, Andrew, geezer, that's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> He's a hero, I like Son though. Aye, he seems like a good guy. Guardiola. Madison. Oh, have you, right? Aye. Oh, man. I drink. He runs that his mouth too much. Chirpy, aye. He was I don't think he's as good as what people say he is. James Madison? Oh, he no, he's as good as what people say he is. Do you think? No. What do you think you like? Lester, Lester relegated. I know, but you can't put that slowly down to James Madison. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's a good player, but I don't think he's his top. I don't think he's a top. top. Who's the best ever player to get relegated? Could be Latiss. Did he get relegated to Latiss? He would have, surely. That's a shout, that. It's a good laugh now, Latiss, isn't he? Bundle of joy, that boy. Surely, what, maybe one of the Newcastle players have been done? <laughs> Michael Owen. Sheeran and Michael Owen went down in that. Well, nah, Sheeran was the manager. Sheeran no, was the manager. And how, Owen got, how was in the team Owen that got relegated. Team, uh -huh. it? How young did Owen become Doug Shite? But good laugh, Michael Owen, isn't he? I know. He did become Doug Shite, didn't he? He went yeah, to Stoke and couldn't again, mate. Oh, good one, good one, Michael. Sheeran against a 13 year old. 14, Michael. <laughs> when they were out for me. The best, isn't it? Good one. Good one. Good yeah, see, see, see when jo uh, John from Woodgate was at Middlesbrough, right? He was tight with Michael on at Stoke, and uh, Woody was right into his horses. And he used to tell us that Michael Owen used to go into Stoke every morning with a racing post. And he said every morning we get a rub, like he used to get a rub every single morning, and the boys would go through his racing post and would suckle the, the horses he's betting. He said they always won. It's because he had like stables and that, he was in the know. So he said the boys, well, as soon as he went to get his rub, all the boys were in his racing post betting all the horses. Oh, says, well, see, so he used to come in all the time. That's a good put tips up on Twitter one year for Cheltenham and everyone came in as well, mate. Did they? Uh -huh. He was the one that told us, you know, we'd get told us, was it? Somebody kept telling my tip and they kept losing. What was the story we'd get told us about you with jeans and I beef at? Wasn't it? Right, I want to, I, I want to ask you all this because you're all kind of had to be tasty or whatever. What are we talking about? Coaching with Pep, coming on the pitch and Green Haaland a bit. I love Pep, he's my favourite, but fucking wind it in. Nah, man. there's a time and a place. I don't ah, care yeah, what you say, there's a time and a place. Him and talk dressing to him. Man, scored, man scored goals for fun and you went to fucking... Like, it's a bit of a show pony. Ah, you, right, you want to look like you're being an, just, it's just an over. Then he shoves the camera And then away. staring at the camera ah, raging when you're I saying it, you know mate. the camera's there. Ah, so that, that's, for, that's for Pep's vanity. I tell you something that's worse than what talking about right now. Ah, shut up. Daniel Sturridge singing Usher on Super, Super Sunday. Yeah, I love him, man. Mate, is some voice by the way? Oh, I mean, got some voice. Roy Keane was raging. Mr. Richards, you know the vibe. 
Mate, how good is his voice? Roy Keane was fuming he does like a, voice. His voice is a joke. Keane will be back on me, Keane. No, 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 no. It's, I, think, I think they'll keep putting him on me, Keane, because you could see that Keane's fucking Aye. close to pulling him up. Aye. Mate, it's mental, him, isn't it? Sturridge is a, he's a, he's a character, isn't he? Like, I he's know, off but it, mate. I, didn't, I, was, I was like, ah, shut up, man. What is he? What is he, Andy? Super Sunday. We need to get it up. If you get fair, your fair dues, you've got to, like, you, you don't care in that, but... Put it on Twitter, Kev Sturridge. How did I want it, to see how it. Did that actually... You've got the Pradigan, not me. No, they need We short vest. They need Danny Rose back on. The hat and the jam came up. We Danny Rose straight out. I think Johnny Rose guy with Daniel Sturridge, let us. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, he would, he would really study We didn't even get the initiation song, Daniel. Initiation song? What would you, what would you have chosen? Some haircut I've got uh, on it. I don't know. Uh, Usher? Have a th- Usher. Which one? Seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock, gonna die. I'm in my drop top, cruising the street. You know the vibe. You know the vibe? <laughs> what a guy, mate. Yeah? Get his face. <laughs> Why, mate? Dude, that was so awesome. I don't like it. So do I. I love Keane's reaction. He's just staring, isn't he? Keane's staring, right. right. I think his voice is class. So do I. By the way, what type of storage was, man? He was nah, he was a joke. Hey, well, that was good today, boys. Oh, that yeah? That? Is that that? No. Right, who's going to win the Premier League? That's the last Man's one in England City. City. Man City, yeah, Alan. City. City. He's a genius. Maybe he'll get close to him. Total genius. Has there ever been a year and all with the three that came up went down? Because it could happen this year. Looting her. I think, I, think I, I think Burnley could go down because a squad of players. I can't believe a squad of players. Luton and Sheffield you are certs. Aye. And I think Burnley, Burnley should. Tell me you've seen the guy that's came for Luton non league and he's now playing the Premier League. No. Aye, the, the, Honking, the boy at the back. Honk, uh, pass the ball right to. He's, he's come all the way up through. through he's the captain. Uh, Was he the captain? He's the captain. Rapid stories. Tom uh, Rapid stories. Stop, 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 stop making decisions off. with your heart. Aye. Time to get rid of them. You've had your time. I've not, never seen it, no. Uh, came through for non league. They three make good because I couldn't believe Burnley squad of players. I could not believe that. Have they, no, have they bought anybody? No. I think they've, they've bought a couple, but they've lost more. Aye. Because I think loads of their team last year, like the boy Matt's in that for Chelsea, they had loads of loan players and they've all went back and not got any of them back. Chelsea's a strange man. He still gets Sean Dyson, didn't he, before he got their shite in the toilet? <laughs> He's just sitting there, didn't he? And you get the salt and it's not going to ever go down. No, no, no. They'll stop that shit. Based on what? They've got to get a dead eye. I just, because of Sean Dyson, generally. Imagine going like that, right? There's 600 quid for a season ticket. I'm going to go and watch Sean Dyson. No, they get rid of him every week. But I think Everton fans, I think that's what they want to see. Just tackles. Aye. They're rubbish. Need more tackles. <laughs> Who's man? What do you think about man? You? Dumb. Get rid of him and get the I think he'll be out the door. I think they'll him out the door. I think man, you'll be better this year as well. Signed a striker that scored nine goals last year. I know, that's bizarre. That was and he could be brilliant, but man, you need players for now, don't they? They don't need nah, players for. Eh? See these managers signing poor strikers, man. It's They need to sort themselves out. How are you talking about? Oh, just man, you. West Ham are signing. Maguire, McTominay, and. Ward Prowse, they could go down. Shite McTominay, a 30 million I went for. But that's a West Ham player. No man, you play. Moisey's something else, That was always the point. Moisey is something else, isn't he? Moisey's one of the favourites to get sacked. (laughs) 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 Mate, what about that video, man? Oh, I mean. I think anything else, anything else happened. Anything else happened? Don't know, but that's that is definitely your dad on holiday, isn't it? Oh, mate. That's your dad all inclusive. You'd scud someone at him, wouldn't you? I know. You'd fling someone at him. Brighton, best thing to watch. Does everybody What do you think is Sutton and McCoy? Eh, Sutton and Boyd? Well, do? but Brighton have lo- are losing big players now, aren't they? I know, but they, they just keep bringing in somebody else for South America for no, three no. million. They're a joke, I know. No. The recruitment's insane there, mate. Aye. They weren't as good for opening day, even said it after the game. Were they not? No, they weren't as. Fl- as still fluid. won 4 1, though. Uh-huh, still won 4 1. Who were they playing? Was it no looting? Who was. Who are they going to miss the most? Who? Brighton. McAllister's gone, in he? Casido's gone. He was been uh, sitting for Liverpool yesterday. Mate, the striker's a joke, Evan Ferguson. No, but yeah, mate, 18. Aye, mate, did boy, you watch Liverpool uh, Chelsea? Is he really good? Uh, aye. McAllister was a joke. He's been sitting, wasn't he? I uh, hate maybe he's seen him in the flesh. Uh-huh. Uh, How was Liverpool Chelsea? I missed it. Was it Paul was a joke. It was empty. It was but Chelsea were good. Well, uh, Chelsea, I'd say Chelsea were probably. It took a while to get going. Thirty minutes, Liverpool were as if it could have been anything. But after that, Chelsea were good. Do you know who was good when he came on? B Ben Doak. Did you get on? Aye. You get on for Salah? On. Salah was going nuts. Superstar we Ben Doak's going to be fucking... But she, she we've Chelsea. been crying out for that world beater player for Scotland and I think we're going to have because they've always been... Is he, is that, is he is this oh, good, Is that good, mate? Aye. Is he? Aye. Mate, wow. we're going to hear. He'll be alright with us. Ben Chilwell, was that a striker, mate, wasn't he? he? How good was he? Aye, Chilwell, no. mate. Uh, he's got a bit of that. Good. My pit two shows signed that Cucurella. He's very good. Last year instead, tried to play him ahead of him as well. Why did you think of Klopp? Did you see Klopp shouting at a guy to hold the strip? 
No, but he, he done a. It's like the worst guy. He, he collapsed onto the pitch when somebody gave a ball away yesterday. No, free kick. He just fell down. Free kick. Like full body. What did he do with the clap? What did he see when you've been that manager, that manager for that long? Mate, how do you keep the message fresh and? No, I don't. It's hard, man. What did he? Like, what did he do with the tap? He was like, somebody says, "Can you sign that tap?" He's like, "Fucking hold it tight, then." <laughs> Raging, mate. Got filmed. Fuck, that's horrible. Just shows you can always all be like, "It's nice to people," know what I mean? Exactly. See, when you're on the other side of that, mate, that is a worst. Just came a wee message like, "The people pay your wages, you're going to know what I mean?" Aye, I know. Take my bit of respect. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Boys, they stand up. Prepared.